Greeting her is geneticist Professor Tim Spector from King's College London. He set up a different hearing test to answer the question, does this part of musicality come from our genes or not? You're so vain. You probably think this song is about you. You're so vain. Renee is singing badly on purpose. That's because the test is trying to find out if the audience can spot whether the singing is in or out of tune. But this is no ordinary audience. Let's see those cards now! On one side of the room, pairs of identical twins who share the same on genes. Sides, all sets of identical twins are in agreement. I want to break free from your life, you're so On the other, non-identical twins who only share half their genes. I want to break free. Flash those cards now! If musical hearing is down to our genes, identical twins should agree much more often than non-identical twins. And on the non-identical side, we have got two sets of twins that are dissenting voices. But if musical hearing is a skill we learn, both groups should do roughly the same. Every word you say, every game you play, every night you stay, I'll be watching you. What would you do if I sang out of tune? Would you stand up and walk out on me? So I say thank you for the music. After ten songs, the scorecards are counted. The non-identical twins disagreed 24% of the time, uh, which is quite reasonable because they're sharing genes and environment uh, to some extent. But the identical twins only disagreed 12% um, of the time. Hold up those cards now! So the identical twins agreed far more often than the non-identical twins. Cards now! This ties in with other research Professor Spector has done. For him, there's only one conclusion. This part of musical ability is predominantly a genetic one. It's great for me because I found somebody who is more pro-nature than nurturing. Absolutely. The role and influence of the family is much less than the role and influence of their genes on the children. Right. And I think this is a very important fact and it's also important for parents because a lot of parents feel responsible for the way they brought up their kids if they end up wrong, but in fact it's just the genes they're passing on. Miss Renee Sears! So Vanessa's sophisticated ability to hear music was almost certainly something she was born with.